What's up guys, Old Ed Mike here, and welcome to my reaction and review for Blessed by a Broken Heart, Days of Thunder, the Midnight cover. Let's go. All right, so this is a little bit different. This is uh, one of my favorite bands of all time. You may have not heard of them, Blessed by a Broken Heart. They were uh, really big back in the MySpace days, uh, and they are making a comeback now. I did also just see them live for the first time in many years uh, at So What Fest this past weekend. Uh, it was incredible. So if you have not heard of them, think pre-electric callboy, pump it up kind of kind of flavor. They had a lot of very fun riffs, way more technical though. Their guitar work is insane and they infuse a ton of 80s power kind of and glam metal into metalcore. So a very unique band and they're covering The Midnight, which uh, is actually another one of my favorite groups of all time. Uh, I listen to Synthwave honestly more than metal uh on most days uh, i've actually done a reaction for the midnight on this channel as well uh this is going to be an interesting one so it's uh kind of a two of my favorite bands combined so we're going to find out what this is like let's check out dates of thunder no music video by the way this is I saw that they put this out and so... And if that, if that riff kind of sounds familiar, by the way, um, the Midnight kind of sampled uh, uh, Boys of Summer, so... That guitar carrying it. Love the synth work in the back. Try not to sing along, all right? The original Days of Thunder is like, from the midnight, it's one of my favorite songs of theirs. Every time. Every time that guitar comes in, man, that just it's so clean. The, the thing, I don't want to talk too much over it, but the, my favorite thing about Les My Broken Hearts covers, when they do them, is they don't push into the metalcore too much. They have like, they usually have a breakdown, but it's not like the, you know, the whole song doesn't get changed. Uh, their cover of Journeys, uh, separate ways god tier it's weird it, it this gives it more kind of like an epic kind of feel very 80s um even more It has that spirit that's of the of the original song. It's wild. I 
I think this is the band that got me into solos. I used to hate solos, but man. Like, just, it's just done so right. I think they added a little bit more melody, too, right here on this last chorus. It sounds like there's another layer of vocals. I could... Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the heavy part. See? They just that they don't they don't press too hard on it. Oh. Oh god. And a little little tempo change. Take it back up a little bit. God. Damn. Ugh. <laughs> Man, so I was like, really, you know, this is one of, like, like I, I'm telling you, The Midnight, I've seen them live, one of my favorite groups of all time, and I was, so, this being one of my favorite ba other bands of all time, I was like, I, you know, I still didn't know, I wasn't sure what to be prepared for, I was like, I... I don't know how I'm going to feel about this cover. It's kind of a very mid-tempo kind of song. Um, and this band is very upbeat, a lot of fast parts and stuff. So I, was, I, I wasn't really sure what to go in, you know. And it has a little bit of that that kind of feel, very kind of, you know, it feels kind of different for the band at first because, you know, the verses are very kind of more mid-tempo kind of. But then, you know, like I said, I think the choruses um, and that guitar work come in and just like... Uh, just completely like change it up and then you know then they they bring in that third course you know and they they change it up on their own um i always have a thing about third courses bands do it too much and this is a cover so they have to do the third course but again they they still make the third course different they add that extra layer of the vocal melody on top of it um and then you got fucking and then he comes in with you know that the, the extra um layer of melody where he's you know he's really fucking crooning and then leads into you know the the little kind of uh breakdown -y kind of part and, and just like man that ending just really kicks it perfect cover perfect cover and you know i'm not trying to dick ride too hard because i do love this band but uh you know i i like i said it was a cover of one of my other favorite groups so i wasn't sure what to think coming in and uh you know that i think they proved uh it was well worth it so 10 out of 10. I think this was a perfect cover. I wish they would have done like a music video, made it really a lot bigger. Maybe that, that'll come soon. Get some extra promotion out there and make it a big thing because it'd be sick. So great job to Bless by Broken Heart. Um, I love it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Again, go check them out if you haven't heard of them before. Uh, Pedal to the Metal is their big um, main album. Uh, I do love the other one after that. Uh, pretty much the same, but uh, Pedal to the Metal is their big, you know, breakout hits uh, album. So go check that out. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to come to our Drunken Song Request streams Friday nights, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time here on YouTube, and our album review streams Saturday nights, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time over on Twitch. So hope to see you guys there. Old Ed Mike signing off, reminding you, never too old for this.